which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Father, we come to you tonight. We ask you to give us the guidance and the knowledge to help the citizens of Boonville. Amen. Amen. No, it's no good. Roll call. Carter. Here. Ehlers. Here. Dorman. Stock. Here. Young. Here. Meadows. Here. Beach. Here. Hurt. Here. <coughs> Hearing of citizens' comments at this time, if there's anyone in the audience who would like to make a comment, um, this would be the time to come forward. We have none this evening. Approval of the minutes of the December 5th, 2016 council meeting. You had those in your packet. Um, are there any additions or corrections to the minutes as presented? Hearing none, they will stand as presented. Consent items, we have three this evening. A pay two pay requests and a change order. I would entertain a motion. Morris? Mayor, make a motion we approve this. Okay, do I hear a second? Second. Next mic. Any questions or comments? Was, it, was that for all three, Morris? Yes. Mm -hmm. Questions? Roll call. Carter? Yes. Ehlers? Yes. Stock? Yes. Young? Yes. Meadows? Yes. Speech? Yes. Hurt? Yes. Presentation of accounts and claims. Teresa, when you're ready. Ordinance appropriating money. Be it ordained by the Council of the City of Boonville as follows. Section 1. For the purpose of paying salaries and various accounts against the City of Boonville, which have been allowed by the Council at the regular meeting thereof on December the 19th, 2016, the sum of $629,366.18. General Fund, $342,575.96. Sanitation, $7,491.80. CIP Tax, $39,796.13. Waterworks forty four thousand five hundred seventeen dollars and five cents. Capital projects thirty eight thousand seven hundred twenty dollars and eighty cents. Wastewater forty seven thousand six hundred one dollars and ten cents. Tourism seven thousand two hundred fifty five dollars and ninety two cents. Gaming seventy six thousand two hundred fifty six dollars and nineteen cents. Parks and water twenty five thousand one hundred fifty one dollars and twenty three cents. Section two. The accountant is hereby authorized and instructed to draw checks on their respective city bank accounts in favor of the persons whose salaries and accounts have been allowed as above, amounting to $629,366.18, being the total amount of money above appropriated. Section 3. This ordinance shall take effect and be enforced from and after its passage. First reading on December 19, 2016. Read for the second time this 19th day of December 2016, since the copy was made available prior to the meeting. Second reading title only. Ordinance appropriating money. Becky? I move that we approve this ordinance. Okay. Second. Thank you, Morris. <coughs> Roll call. Carter? Yes. Ehlers? Yes. Stock? Yes. Young? Yes. Meadows? Yes. Beach? Yes. Hurt? Yes. Unfinished business. <laughs> Item A, second reading of bill number 2016-035. Amending an agreement with Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission <coughs> for funding of airport improvements. An ordinance of the City of Boonville, Missouri, amending an agreement with Missouri Highways and Transportation Commission, MHTC, for funding of airport improvements, providing an effective date, therefore, and repealing all ordinances in conflict with this ordinance. Morris? Mayor, make a motion to be approved. Do I hear a second? Yes, okay. Thank you. Questions or comments? Roll call. Carter? Yes. Ehlers? Yes. Stock? Yes. Young? Yes. Meadows? Yes. Speech? Yes. Hurt? Yes. New business. Item A, first reading of bill number 2016-036, authorizing the acceptance of quick claim deed from Industrial Development Authority in Charles Persinger Park. Industrial. 
An ordinance of the City of Boonville, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to accept a quit claim deed for transfer of real estate from the Industrial Development Authority. Okay. Report of standing committees, um, IDA and MFA, Becky. The minutes are in your packets. Um, you'll note at that October meeting there was a special presentation on the Sunshine Law done by um, Dr. Gettings. Um, I thought he did a really good job and kind of uh, clarified some things for the committee members. Um, so the rest of it's all there if you have any questions. Okay. Any um, questions? Yes, Ned. Just a quick question. Page 19, consideration of request to, to the city for appropriations. Uh, the paragraph kind of gives the impression that the city's going to uh, write a check to the IDA for 500000 Is that what that means? No. What, what has transpired on that is um, there's been discussion of that group going ahead and submitting a request to the city for either part or all of that money. But that would still have to come before this, this group. Okay. Thank you, Becky. You're welcome. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Um, historic preservation, Vanessa, I think that was uh, no meeting, lack of quorum. Um, planning and zoning, <coughs> Steve. That meeting was canceled. Excellent job. You did a good job. <laughs> Item E, police board, Henry. I was unable to attend that meeting. Okay. Anyone have any questions? I'm sure Chief Welliver would be glad to answer them. None? Tourism Commission, I believe that was a no meeting too. Is that correct, Ned? It was, uh, it's rescheduled for tomorrow. Yes, okay. Because I know they do have some things they need to yeah, there's a, there's make a, a decision. Yeah. It's a two hour meeting. <laughs> yes. They even volunteered to feed us. Wow. Mm -hmm. Pretty That's exciting. <laughs> Airport Advisory Board, Susan? I was not at the September 7th, but at the October 10th, and there was discussion about the tree removal. I think that's basically it. Okay. Well, quick question. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. you can answer that. In the, in the grant that was done for the tree removal, did they detail out the trees, or did they just do it by area? just an area that they were going to clean up or did, was it actually by tree because of well it, 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 was pretty, it was pretty specific they might not have did the exact tree if there was a clump there in a certain spot but it was it was pretty specific okay so if you if you wanted to add or subtract from that then you had to go back through the process to do that right but in the areas they cover they I think they felt they were exhaustive okay. now it didn't cover the ones on the other side of I-70 because uh, that wasn't funded from begin with, and it's pr problematic, frankly. Yeah. And that's what they were talking about here. Was I, the other I, side of I, I assume that's what they were probably talking about. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I know that the the gentleman that did the tree removal on the by the airport, they were pretty. Um, Specific about what they were going to remove because I knew that. You no, know, they said they had to wait till after a certain time because of some little bat that nests in a shag bark or something. I don't know. So they they had pretty well studied what was out there and what they could cut, what they had to leave, and all that sort of thing. So okay. I think they did a nice job of studying it. Okay. Reports of city officials, city administrator. I don't have anything. Um, did you want to, one of us report on this or just let them read them? What do you prefer? Well, we probably should mention it, I suppose. Let me do it? Yeah. All right. uh, I think there was passed out to you today, uh, I think you did ask about it at the last meeting of Cancer Park. There's a... Uh, Today we met with Mr. Melkersman, Julie and I, and the plan he had, um, that's in his words, set forth, has been on display uh, going on two weeks now perhaps at, at the City Hall, and we've gotten a few comments on it. Uh, 
And uh, so today's meeting, I provided him a copy of all those comments. And this was a list from me. I prepared this that probably picks up most of the things were in those comments, as well as something coming from the city side. I went over them with him item by item with him and told him we wanted a full response to them. And he thought he would uh, um, work on it after the first of the year. Uh, 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 we're particularly pleased. I mean, the list is great, and this is good and thorough, and it's a good approach to what's going on over there. But number four, because I think we had forgotten all about that. We had forgotten about what, uh, what needed to happen afterwards. And then that situation with, with the water, I mean, that absolutely proved that we need a solid maintenance plan from them. So, yes, kudos. Yeah, my, I think Ju neither Julia nor I, I, even after discussing it for three or four minutes, still understand what the situation is with the water. So, I don't either. I mean, yeah. Gary's comments were different than the comments that we got. And yeah. it's, uh, <clears throat> but it's not real pretty down there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mayor, I have none, but I would like to comment. Um, thank the street department and all of the crews that get out and work on our um, streets and get things cleared off. They do an exceptional mm -hmm. job. And, uh, in fact, someone in the community made the comment to me. They said, I think every truck that the city owns has a snowplow strapped on it. <laughs> I said, yeah, I think that's pretty much right. So uh, everybody that has a truck can plow snow. So that's how we get it done here. And I think if you compare us to some other communities, we do a great job. Mm -hmm. So kudos again to our employees on that. Uh, city Councilor? Nothing Marissa? tonight. Thank you, Mayor. Economic Developer, Dr. Gann. Good evening, Mayor. Good Council, evening. my uh, report to the IDA begins on page 30. <clears throat> and uh, of course I'll answer any questions you may have but I'll highlight a couple things um, this has been a particularly busy month for uh, new projects that have come from the Missouri partnership um, uh, item 2b project sugar since this was done that uh, the geographic scope of that project has been reduced to st. Louis area so uh, we are we are out um, you'll see Project Tiger and Project Outback, which is C and D. Uh, they had a requirement of having a rail served site, which we do not have a building that sits on a rail spur. Um, uh, I will skip on over to uh, item 2F. Uh, this was a particularly disheartening project because we had some land that was owned by a private party that had been identified as a site available for development. Um, this project came in and, and uh, it had some very specific site requirements. The dimensions had to be just, just correct uh, to match this and it, it was a rather large tract um, and it had rather minimal infrastructure requirements. So Earl and I met and thought the infrastructure issues could be overcome. Uh, and when I spoke to the owner, of the, I, the last thing that I thought I would have trouble with is the a, a willing seller, uh, because the the owner bought the land as investment. So uh, anyway, I I could not get them to agree to submit the project. So the land was unavailable. Anyway, you can see uh, this was to build up to a 1.6 million square foot building. So. Um, Anyway, that was the last, usually it's infrastructure things that take us out pretty early, as you can see by having a rail serve building. Uh, I didn't think that, anyway, I was disheartened, but that's the way it is. Um, most of the other things that you'll see uh, of my activity over the month, uh, for the sake of time, I'll direct your attention to page 32 uh, on uh, item 9. Uh, we have been, the IDA has been working on this for some time. We've completed our strategic plan, which has some parts associated with it, uh, which is the incentive matrix as well as uh, a process chart of uh, how incentives are reviewed. 
that uh, is, we, we've made hard copies for you. They were not bound prior to tonight's meeting, but I would expect you would have those uh, by your next meeting. If you would like an electronic copy, I can certainly send those to you, but uh, we, are, we are making hard copies for the council as well as the commission. Um, other than that, um, I included for you the article that it starts on page 33. Uh, I say article, actually, that's a transcript of a 60 minutes segment. And I would encourage you to go and watch the 60 minutes segment about Joe Max Higgins. And uh, because I, I, what I would hope you would see from this is really two things. One is this is who we're competing with. And Joe Max Higgins is quoted uh, as saying, the only way we win a deal is to tear everybody else's, tear off everyone else's face. Right. So that's the kind of combative environment that we're in. Uh, but the other thing, oh, and the second part of that is we got to kill everybody to win the deal. So, uh, but uh, if, if you look through that, uh, what you'll see is some of the things Joe Max is doing, and I think some of the things that he's doing there to be successful are some of the same things that we're doing, particularly around workforce development and such. So uh, I hope you see uh, the bright spot there. Uh, one thing he's doing that we're not is doing $12 million investments in sites. So we certainly don't have the capacity to do that. Um, and then lastly, on workforce development, uh, I've sent you all an a, a invitation. Uh, but this Thursday at 10 a.m. Uh, in this very room will be a presentation from the Missouri Department of Economic Development about a milestone that we've met. So I invite you to do that. If you have any questions, I can, I can answer them. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. City Clerk, Teresa. I have a couple of things here. Um, on Friday, December 16, 2016, uh, the following city employees volunteered an hour of their time to ring the bell to benefit our community through the Salvation Army. Um, due to the unfavorable weather conditions, we had a few hiccups and it ended up getting called off before the end of the day. However, our 2016 bell ringers were Patrick Ziegelbein, Carrie Shipman, Mark Strange, Bill Sterling, Cole Potter, Sandy Lawson, Russell Gerling, Carissa Mays, Guy Kaiser, Jesse Karen, Mark Weibel, Daryl Harris, Kate Fiel, Kate Gibson, Susan Meadows, and myself. And I want to offer my thanks to all of them. Also, I have a filing update. As of today's date, there has been one candidate that has filed for the April 4th, 2017 election. Uh, that is Whitney Venable, council seat for Ward 3. The filing period for the election will close on January the 17th, 2017 at 5 p.m. And then lastly, the next city council meeting is going to be held on Tuesday, January the 3rd, uh, due to the New Year's, New Year's um, Day holiday being on the 2nd, which is a Monday. So I look forward to seeing you all on the 3rd of January. Okay. Any questions? Will the second meeting in January also be on a Tuesday? Yes. Okay. I think so. <coughs> Second. That'll be the seventeenth. Okay, that's what I was thinking. <clears throat> okay. Uh, building inspector provided a report. Um, anyone, probably everybody's had a chance to read that. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of buildings going on right now. If you I think everybody's kind of finishing up all the projects all of a sudden. Uh, miscellaneous. Gary. Just a quick update uh, in reference to the memo that Teresa sent out uh, last week. The fountain has been turned off. Can you tell, for people who may not know, this is regarding the Cancer the Memorial Park? The Cancer Memorial, Memorial Park, Park, right, in regards to the water situation down there. But the, uh, the fountain was turned off. Sometime this weekend, one of my employees saw it running Saturday morning, but it's, I've been told it's off now. Uh, the irrigation system supposedly was blown sometime last week. Uh, we 
weren't aware of that, but it has been. And the frost-proof hydrant that is currently still in place is going to be removed and that line capped. Uh, but I also asked uh, Russell Gerling last Friday if he would shut the water off at the meter so if we did have a line freeze and burst, we didn't fill science all full of water. So that has been done. Okay. Thank you, Gary. Any other miscellaneous? No? Everybody's anxious to get home? Okay. Uh, motion for... Uh, so moved. Thank you, Dan. Second. Michael seconded. I did. Okay. In favor, please stand up and leave. Bravo. <laughs>